Hey guys, welcome back to Little Piece of Heaven Farm. My name is Farron, and today I'm going to do a review on a new product for our farm that'll help with our security cameras out there. And this is from Adelo. So let's see what comes in the package here. High performance wireless bridge. Comes with the user manual. Two Wi Fi bridges. Got two PLE power over Ethernet. One for each. Ethernet cables, two. And two power cables. And two of these clamps to mount your Wi Fi bridge on onto a pole. Okay, also it came with some mounting brackets. That's pretty well packaged up. Let's go ahead and take one of them out. And a little mounting bracket. You can mount it on, mount this onto a pole or, or a siding. It's got a little, you can adjust it up or down. Comes with some clamps, four, and some mounting screws in case you want to mount it to a side of a building or something. And, oh, and of course, another bracket. What you see here is what comes with the package when you get one of these. You get two wireless bridges, you get two PoE adapters, you get two network cables, and you got two power cables, and you get two cable ties, and you get two mounting brackets, and four cable ties, and you get two packages of uh, mounting screws in case you want to mount this on the side of a building or something. And also comes with a manual. Okay, now let's uh, power these up and uh, get them paired together. And if you take a look inside here, you know, flip this upside down, and they've got the writings on here as to what each of these are. That first one is the reset DC jack slave or master switch and then PoE. And here you want to, I'm going to use this as a master, so you want to flip it to the right, and that'll be the AP. It says STA or AP, and you want to make sure it's on AP, and that'd be on the right. And this one over here is going to be my slave. I'm going to make sure that's on the left. The STA. And all the words are right there. It tells you what each of these ports are. Okay, next up, I'm going to power up these devices. And on this part here where it says LAN, that will go to, in my case, my router. That's in my house. And then the PLE. That will go to the master PLE. Okay, let's go ahead and get the next one set up. Power on. Put this one in the PoE. 
and you take the other end into its PoE. And you just sit here and let them do their thing. You've got lights up here, the master, all these lights will, will always be steadily flashing when it's paired. This side here should be all steadily on. It's going to take a while. So we'll let those sit there and do their thing and get paired up. Meanwhile, while waiting for that, here in the specifications, the PoE and land speed, you know, that's 10, 100, 1,000 megabits per second. Transmit rate 867 megabits. They say it could reach about three mile range. So you could have your slave three miles out. Okay, I'm outside where I'm going to install this bracket. And I'm just going to install it on the side of the house here. So I need to take this off. You know, which you just loosen these up here and you can pull this down. And you can get to that screw right there. And just take off that bracket. And then... That way, you could just mount it on your house with the screws that they sent you. Okay, now you just uh, undo the hose clamp, feed it back through. and tighten it up. Make sure you have the bridge facing the direction where you're going to put the slave at. And go ahead and tighten that down. Okay guys, I'm in the greenhouse now. I got the, uh, the master unit up on the house. In the greenhouse I have this, the station unit. And it's paired up. It's in sync with the, with the master unit. camera in here ready to go so let's go ahead and uh, plug this into the LAN port of the PLE adapter hook it up to the camera And then I'll show you that, see if this uh, works or not. Okay, as you can see, camera all hooked up there. Into the POE adapter, into the station unit. Moving the camera around inside of the greenhouse.
Yeah. So that works pretty good. Well, as you see, it worked out pretty good. And from what I understand, the uh, station unit is not actually a Wi-Fi. It's a LAN network. So you have to use uh, Ethernet cables to hook up all your cameras, which is fine. I have no problem running some Ethernet cables to all my cameras inside, inside and outside of the greenhouse. So that'll work pretty good to my application here. So I'm going to take this out into my so-called back 40 and see if that'll work out there. Okay guys, I'm out here in my so-called back 40 and I've got everything all hooked up here. Even had to bring a power supply out here for it because I don't have power out here yet. Got my camera going and let's test this and see if it can make it this far. According to the device, it made a uh, it paired up to the master up there by the house. This is about a good mile away, so let's see if the camera transmits. Okay, as you can see, the camera is transmitting. So, yeah, a mile away, it makes connection. Pretty cool. My next test, it test it from way over there on that ridge, top up there. I don't know if you can, I can't zoom it in any further. Right up there, you see that little building over there on the left, up on the ridge top. So let's see if it'll reach down here in this pasture. Well, as you can see, it works pretty well. Not bad. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm back in my greenhouse now. Um, I put the master bridge back on my house and this will be my station bridge. I'm going to put it outside my greenhouse up on the peak and, they, and you get, they got to face each other to get the proper signal, like you don't get nothing back of it, so you have, they have to face each other. So anyhow, the, those three tests I did worked out pretty well, the greenhouse worked awesome, went a mile away, that also worked awesome, then I did that two mile stretch. In order to test that stretch, I had to move my master station to that ridge top where that little building is and aim it towards my pasture to reach the station bridge and that worked out pretty good and then I tried to go beyond that and the signal started to fade out and, I was, and eventually I got nothing I think that's mainly due to maybe some trees were in the in the way and I don't have perfectly flat land it's kind of hilly so if you have perfectly good three mile stretch flat land, and, or if you get these up high enough where it could go over that ridge, you probably could get the three mile stretch. I have no doubt about it. They did two miles really good. So these are like a point to point wireless bridge. So the way I understand it, you're land network in the house where you have internet access to where your router is and all that you have your master bridge outside your house hooked to that and that could, that's one network then for example out here in my greenhouse would be another network with all my cameras and you have to use ethernet cables to hook them all up uh, probably to a um, PO switch and then from there hook it to to this to get your camera signal bouncing back to the master bridge. Um, from what I understand, there's no Wi-Fi connection between them. They're basically point to point. It just creates another network, connects two networks together. That's all it does. 
So, and they're also waterproof. They come uh, prepared when you get these. All you do is just plug them in and, and they'll sync up. You don't have to hook the landline to it. Um, even though I showed that earlier in the video that I did that, but you don't have to do that in order to get them to sync up. Just get them some, hook them up to power and you'd be good to go. And if for some reason they won't pair up, because I had issues, mine did not pair up. So I reached out to them and asked them if they had a solution to that. And they did have a solution to that. And there's it's probably like a five minute process to reset it and all that stuff to get it to pair up and, and it paired up. And I did make a little separate video on that. And I'll link that below in case you guys had issues of them not wanting to pair up out of the box. I mean, they are plug and play, so you should just plug in the power and you'd be good to go. Oh, also, when you get these on the back of them here, they got that little, that switch right there. There are, one of them's already set to AP and the other one's already set to STA. So you don't have to worry about doing anything with those. Just plug them in and they'll sync up. Would I recommend this product? Yes, I would. It's Avalove CPE 362 point to point wireless bridge. And I'll have a link below so you guys can check it out. And I will also have a promo code for it, 10% off. And it's one thing I forgot to mention, you could have multiple um, station bridges. Although they all, they all kind of make sure they point towards like a, I think it's a 60 degree radi radius from the master bridge, 60 degrees out. And you could have all these uh, station units facing towards the master bridge. So yeah, you could have another, to make them go further down the road, you, you could have like your master bridge and then your uh, station bridge facing it. And then you can have another master bridge behind it. These two here would hook together here. And then down the three miles down, you know, heck, you could have a um, station unit. So it's kind of endless, you know. You do that, you have like six mile read or nine mile read or 12 miles. So um, once again, I'll put a link down below. It's a point to point wireless bridge. It comes with bracket mounts, supports v VLAN. Um, gigabyte Wi-Fi internet bridge, 5.8 gigahertz wireless bridges outdoors for 5A, PT, P and PTMP network extended, uh, 48 volt PoE standards. So that's, that's all, sounds pretty good to me. So once again, I'll have a link down below where you can go check that out and also uh, a promo code for it. So um, I'd like to thank you guys for checking this out and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this permanently installed on top of my greenhouse so I can get a start working on my cameras for getting set outside the greenhouse. And that's, that makes it pretty good security to have all these cameras around and, and the Avalove Wi-Fi bridge helps me to accomplish that. All right, thanks guys and I'll catch you on the next one, bye.